Welcome to my lady layer. You want to take a peek? It's not completely finished, but I'm super excited to share it with you all in its current state. So I have little things that I'm going to be doing here and there, but I'm going to be giving you my first look tour, I guess. See you in a little bit. round two because someone was super disruptive. Welcome to my lady layer. So this is where I spend the majority of my time when I'm not dealing with other parts of the house. This is kind of my chill out spot and it's been invaded quite a few times by a furry butt. That one. And then my husband has come in here and invaded the space too. I think that he really, even though he talked about how, you know, like how girly it was and how much he just was like, I don't know about all this. He spends a lot of time in here. Like he always talked about how much he was not loving the purple couch, but he lounges on the purple couch a lot. So this is my room right now in its current state. There are things that are kind of out of place. Um, but it gives you kind of a sneak peek of how I basically am living right now. It's not perfect, it's not 100%, but it's where we're at right now. So let's start over here. We have the entrance door and then right over here I have the attic. So it's kind of creepy. We just keep it closed and nobody knows about it. And then I have this cart right here. So it's very similar to the one from Ikea, but I actually got this cart at Joanne. Um, they had like a 40% off craft organization stuff and I swooped it up then. I really like the base on this one and I like how this one has, oops, has handles. So the one at Ikea does not have handles and doesn't have that nice wide base. It's a little different, but also super functional. And I kind of just divided it by like the top has, you know, craft glue. This is floss that I cannot lose because it, it's two, two projects that I need to finish, finish. And then I have this old tea canister that which holds like my pens, my highlighter scissors, this is a candle igniter, um, and then I have, you know, a card, which this is like my favorite card ever, and then I have these little um, needle cases. This right here is the It's So Emma. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it in the Amazon below. I'll link all of the things that you can find on Amazon, I'll put below in case that you find something that you really enjoy. But here are my scissors so far, and I have needles. So here I have the snag repair needles and just more needles. Back here I have Pat's favorite needles. These are tulip needles, all the needles you can ever want and need. And then I personalize this a little bit. So this is a magnet me and my husband and then we have all of the gazpacho needle minders and then we have another bulldog needle minder have this little fairy that got turned around somehow here's some more needle minders if you're wondering where are your clay by kim needle minders they're in a special place in a far far away land so here i have two little bins that I found at Target in the dollar spot. I wanna say that this was three to five dollars maximum and it came in a set of two. So in this first one, I have just smalls, um, a lot of Mill Hill kits and just small projects that I can grab and go. Here I have DMC 310 and DMC Blanc. I have these silk pouches that used to come with a floss of the month and just a lot of empty plastic bobbins um, for when I need them. So, And then down here what I did was I put, <laughs> I put projects that I want to start in the near, near future. So I have African Woman, Fairy Idol, and like three more projects down here, Dimensions Kits. 
so that I just have them out of my stash and that I know that that's, you know, those are projects that I want to start if I have an itch to start. And then moving on. So here we have two desks that I put together. This right here is a storage bin that's gonna go away. It has just a bunch of random stuff that I need to go through. That's an empty box. And then those two things were old curtain hanger that I don't need. I used it to prop up my iPad for an interview and now I just don't need it anymore. So basically trash. And then that's also a waste bin of trash. There I have an alpha system. Um, those I, this one I actually stole from my in-laws house and I used to have it in my bathroom in the Bahamas, but now the under the cabinet space doesn't fit. So I stole it and I have on the second drawer here, just like all my technology stuff. So I have my camera case, my laptop charger, and all sorts of stuff. And then up here, I have important documents that I need to go through. Because at the end of the day, this is also kind of my office space. This chair I found on Amazon, super inexpensive. I'll link it below. And then these two desks are also from Amazon and I bought two and I just put them together. So I have one gigantic desk. Then I put a TV and pushed it all the way to the back there. So I still have space if I wanna work here. I have a ton of space to work over there. And then I found these cute little things, just knickknacks. I don't even remember where I found these, but I found this little lion who's just so majestic. I love this lion. And then this little plant in gold, of course, that says stand out. And then this is a light box that I found at Target, I believe, and I just, Put that on there just for fun make it cute over here we confiscated some toys <laughs> and then um i have wallace and grummet so wallace and grummet are huge in our family we used to watch them all the time when we were young so uh, the pop figures came out and i found this grummet and so then I had to find Wallace and now I have Wallace and Grummet. And this little shelf is super cool. It's actually two pieces that you put together. Also found on Amazon. I have <laughs> Gaspacho's Medicine, another random box. That one's empty. That box is empty also. These two little trays I found at Target, my planner. And then that is obviously a play by Kim. Then this is just a canister that I found and it's also empty, but I liked the color combination. So I just need to find something to put here. I think I may do like an artificial plant to give it just a little bit more height or like a succulent or something like that. And so then you have my laptop and this doesn't go here, but I just framed this watercolor that, um, one of my best friend's friend, but I guess I could call her my friend, did for us. This is the Four Seasons in Mexico City. So it's where I got married and just framed it so that it'll go up on our wall somewhere. So this is my current project that I'm working on. This is Dreaming Girl by Barbara Anna. And what I do is I stitch in a hoop and I actually stitch in a hoop over here. I had a squirrel moment. So what I meant to say was that I hang my works in progress. So my project, after I take it off of the hoop, I don't leave it on the hoop, I leave them hanging. And so right now I'm just leaving them hanging on that chair. Okay, back to the tour. Ta -da! This is now my stitching station. <laughs> this is my stitchy spot, welcome. There you have my iPad, my Dubco embroidery stand, which I use nonstop now. I've had a couple questions about that. I will definitely make a note to make a video and show how I use it, but this is just kind of my station now. So I have my embroidery hoop here, the colors that I'm currently working with, more colors that I'm currently working with, needle minder, and this little bin I also found in the Target spot. So that toothbrush is to brush out any fibers after ripping stitches out. Then this ort book, I love these ort books. They're uh, by Stitchy Notions um, by Lisa. 
She does a fantastic job and I love them because I just put all of my stuff in there and I just secure it away and it goes into a project bag and it's done. Um, I'll talk about this a little bit more in my floss tube, but this is another little kind of trash can caddy that holds my scissors. Here I have um, the tail tuckers by It's Charm School. This actually goes on here. It's a needle minder, but it doubles as like a lid for your fork trash can. <laughs> and these nesting coffee tables are also from Amazon. This I got, I don't remember where, but I don't stitch with my rings. They bother me, so I just put them in there. I have a dog <laughs> who doesn't want to be in his bed. And then I have his little dog toy bin, which usually has his balls in there. But like I said, I had to confiscate them. Then this I found at Home Goods. It's not staying here, but I just like put it there for now. This is my Mermaid of Atlantis that my sister had at her house. And I don't know what happened, but I'm just thinking that she's like, you know what? take it because I've talked about it so much. It's my first Mirabilia. So I just, I held so much love and I still hold so much love for her. I think she's gonna look fantastic somewhere in here. I think on this wall, but for now, she's just hanging out here waiting to get put up. As we go up, then I have these um, glass, they're called, I believe, flower frogs, but I have them up here because I am planning on doing um, the Hello from Liz Matthews trees. So those will get turned into the trees. This is for my Breath of the Wild Zelda nerds. That is a croc. <laughs> um, they, you would only know if you play. Then I love this guy. So I do love Saju. Saju is a, I guess, I don't even know, needlework brand. It's a French brand and they make these monkeys. And so I saw these monkeys on their website once. And then there is a little needlework shop in that place that I'm putting right there called Needleworks and they were helping me out with a fabric and I saw this in just like the background and I just had to have him. So I purchased him and he came home and now he's on display. These lovebirds are from Nassau. They're, you know, a little piece of the Bahamas. And this is an emergency ot light that I've actually used quite a bit during blackouts. <laughs> then up here I have candles, Shaun the Sheep, which is by the same makers of Wallace and Gromit my Spark Joy uh, by Marie Kondo, and then I just have these like colorful glasses back there. So this isn't finalized, it's just how it is right now. That's just a, a little tray. It's not gonna stay up there, but this will kind of get switched out and figured out as life goes on. That is all of the stuff that I want to show on my floss tube, and that is two. So I have two bins worth of things that I would like to show off <laughs> on my floss tube. I think that that's kind of what I'm going to do is just like anything that comes in the mail or I want to talk about, I'm going to stick in there so that I can talk about it and then it can get put away. Uh, the bookshelf is also from Amazon. The lamp is also from Amazon. This rug is also from Amazon. <laughs> the, I think I told you that these nesting tables are from Amazon. The gold end table is also from Amazon. This is my bin of current projects. These are all current. I think I have like 14 of them. And so I wanted to keep them out. Um, I'll probably put them away if like people come over, but I want them out so that I can see them. So I'm not tempted to, you know, grab anything and start something new. I know that those are the projects I need to be working on. And I know that those are the projects down there in the bottom that I want to start if I would like to start them. And then let's see, these fuzzy pillow covers I purchased years ago and I never, ever, ever use them. And honestly, they're not gonna stay. I have some other pillow covers that I'm going to be putting on 
that aren't as loud. <laughs> They're a little more quiet. Um, but it just, you know, I wanted to have fun and throw them out there and why not? So I think that what I'll do is just kind of switch out the covers on these throw pillows so that it's always fun and fresh. And so yeah. This here is a tree made by artisans in Chile. My family's from Chile. And so uh, it was a wedding present from my aunt and it is supposed to be the tree of life. So super cool. Then I love candles, so I always usually light a candle and that's just a coaster. This is from Ikea. It's still wrapped and in the box. You hang things on it, but I just haven't figured out quite yet where I want to put it. Then I have this mini ironing board to iron, but I just need to put it away. And then we go into the closet. So my closet's still not perfect. Like for example, that blue thing needs to go away. And I bought these felt storage things also on Amazon, you guessed it. And they just have different things. So this top one up here has all of these over dyed floss. I think it's Weeks and Classic Color Works. And this one down here I believe is Gentle Art. Yeah. Oops, focus. Those are all my Gentle Arts. This is my DMC box and it I bobinate my DMC so voila this is just a random water bottle that needs to get out of here <laughs> this is a dog bowl that needs to get out of here like some earrings that I found at Target need to get out of here then what are these oh these are kitted projects and things that I need to continue kitting because I would like to start them at some point this here is literally a basket of empty project bags and bags in general so like i have the sleeves by um love you more studios i have old bags from chicken boots this is way back in the day i've always had like a bag obsession uh chicken boots doesn't exist anymore but i used to buy their uh bags all the time i just i have a thing with bags here i have a bunch of empty floss buddies and then this is just an Ikea bag. I have some more bags. And then all of those are my House of Stitch and Stash bags that are not being used right now for projects that are nicely filed away for future projects. Over here, I have finished projects just hanging that need to get finished, like FFFO -F -F fully finished. So I have Humbug and Miss New Year Fairy. Mm, let's see, this is a very old one too. I designed that one actually, fun fact. The back with Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas. And then here I have some works in progress. So there's the Lion King. This one's a finish. That's my Owl Forest embroidery. Then here I have another Work in progress, that's Bluebeard. Here's a finish that needs to get completely finished. My Monster Wonder Whale needs to get finished. Needs to get finished, Frankenstein. Unicorn Tapestry needs to finish that. So that's what's in that little pouch that I showed earlier. And Halloween also needs to get fully, fully finished. And so that's also there. And then up here, let's see. So all of that is just old magazines and books. Um, related to cross stitching. On this one, I have just a bunch of different size hoops. And this is my Clay by Kim collection. I have them all filed away beautifully. Well, not filed away, but just protected. Um, they are not cheap. They're hard to find. And so I, ah, it's gonna fall. <laughs> I keep them in these containers with bubble wrap, <laughs> which is probably an exaggeration, but there's like a little sneak peek of what they look like. So I have, the, these are all of them, they're all in here. And then they go over here. Oh, see, 
this tipped over. So this is not going to work. I can already tell you. So this is a different system. I'm still kind of, oh, see, chocolate stash. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm still figuring this out. I have like frames that I would love to use that I'm just collecting. This is like DMC that's secondhand DMC or really old. My frames are there and just randomness. And then down here you start getting into the video games and stuff and just random, 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 random in a footstool. And then I have, oops, this fell. See, it's just, uh, it's not perfect yet, but we're working through it. So here I just have a bag with literally two balls of yarn. <laughs> oh, three, I have a third there. This is my new camera stand that I'm going to be testing out so that I don't have weird angles show on YouTube. Then this little storage container, there I have some more yarn. Here I have random kit stuff, fabric, and more fabric. An inflatable bed for guests. And then this I need to show in my floss tube. It was a, a giveaway win, which actually is super cool. I'll show you that. And then when we go over here, so that bin is a bin I have to go through. I have no idea what it is. This is a, a wedding gift that I need to figure out. This is my new finish that I need to frame. So I have all of the, oops, I have all of the framing materials and the foam board. And then these two Rubbermaid, well, they're not Rubbermaid, but this one's a smaller one. Um, hold, this one holds charts um, and small kits. And then down here are large kits. So dimensions and I have a couple chart envelopes. So that's like literally my entire stitching collection as far as charts and kits go, plus the little remnants that are around there. And then, like I said, so this will be like, this is fabric and random stuff. This is floss, over dyed floss, DMC, project bags. So, I mean, it's very humbling to get all of your stuff in the same place, but at the same time, I'm, it limits me from adding, right? Right? Yeah, I don't think so either. I guess what I'm trying to say is that when you are reunited with like all of your things and you're in your space, you're like me that doesn't like to have a lot of things and just clutter, you make a more conscious effort in your spending. So like you'll look twice at a chart or you'll look twice at a kit and you'll think like, maybe the lighting is better here. You'll think like, you know, do I love this? Or am I purchasing it because it's an impulse buy and because I just want to feel better? Especially in COVID times, don't get me wrong. Like I did a lot of like impulse, I'm going to just buy it, I don't care. And so as I'm going through my things, I'm really noticing and really trying to unload and get rid of things that are just like no longer my taste. Um, and so, yeah, and make a priority to stitch through the stash that I have and stitch through the materials that I have and use the things that I've just accumulated, almost hoarded. Mind you, I lived on an island and I didn't have access to anything, so I needed to hoard, <laughs> but I no longer need to do that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my room. Aww. And I hope you enjoyed this tour. And if you have any questions or you just want more detail about anything, Drop it in the comments and I will definitely get back to it and I hope you give this a thumbs up and you subscribe and you do all of the things and I will see you again for sure for sure in two weeks on Thursday with another floss tube with all of my updates and stitching and everything. So until then, I wish you all so much joy and positivity and I will see you then. Bye!